Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. All right, good morning, everybody. Wednesday morning, 718, your time right now. We've seen clouds move overhead this morning. Under that deck of clouds, we still have some fog hanging on. Look to the south, though, London, Somerset. It is a overcast start today. It's not going to stay that way all day long. We're going to push these clouds on out of here. We're also going to push this fog out of here in the next couple of hours max. All right, that sun that starts to break through will help to kind of heat uh, both sides of that fog and then eventually that difference in temperatures is going to eventually eat away at the fog here, but still hanging on at the airport, Mount Sterling, Flemingsburg, Hazard, Jackson, a large part of the area still dealing with areas of dense fog. But I talked about this earlier this morning that had we stayed mainly clear instead of seeing this deck of clouds move eastbound, we would likely have been dealing with dense fog everywhere this morning, especially spots that saw those scattered showers yesterday. Under those clouds, though, temperatures have stayed into the low 60s. It looked like we were going to get enough clearing last night into this morning that we would at least be middle to upper 50s. Well, that's the case where it's clear. That deck of clouds is setting up just here in Lexington and points southeast. But look at Frankfurt, Cynthia, Owenton in the 50s because of a clearing that's taking place there. Those clouds, watch the movement. They are heading east. Upper level winds are out of the west northwest, so that will help to push those clouds out. This big dome of high pressure is going to build and keep us dry for several days. But look out in the Atlantic. Yep, that's Hurricane Lee. Still a fish storm for now. Uh, and it's been that for the, its life cycle. At the moment, though, still looks like it's going to impact parts of Maine to Nova Scotia. So it's not going to stay, obviously, just in the open waters forever. This one does look to make landfall this weekend up there in the New England area. So we've got to keep an eye on that. In the mid and upper 70s for us today, once we get past the morning fog, should see a mix of sun and clouds in the afternoon, but lower humidity. And in our seven day forecast, look at tonight, low 50s, upper 40s in a large part of the area. Definitely looking at a clearer sky tomorrow, mainly sunny, mid and upper 70s again. That northeast wind just keeps pushing in that drier, less humid air. Friday, more of the same after starting at even 49 in Lexington then. We're up near 80 on Saturday, a good looking day for tailgating over at Kroger Field. It's an evening game, so the temperatures will be falling. We're looking at a late rain chance. I still think that those spotty showers hold off till after the game's over. And into Sunday, some scattered showers. Then we trend drier again for most of next week. Mandy?